Hey guys, my name is Nick and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to build this four feed port chicken feeder. Now, I'm no expert. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm a complete beginner. But I'm documenting the whole journey of starting up our little homestead and how we are doing things. So if you're new to raising chickens and gardening and doing all those things, or if you're just somewhat interested in doing that stuff in the future, this channel might be the right place for you. I may get some stuff wrong once in a while. If I do, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section on how I can do something better. The first thing we're gonna need is a bucket. I got this one from Tractor Supply. It was like five bucks for the bucket, a couple bucks for the lid. Uh, you want a lid that is going to uh, overlap the edges because uh, if it rains on this, you want the water to fall off. Uh, there are some screw-on lids that aren't as watertight as something uh, from the top where the water will just flow over and not get in. The second thing you're gonna want is this kit right here from Amazon. I think this cost me like 23 bucks. This is uh, the actual feeder ports and we're gonna put those in. It comes with the circular drill bit and everything that you need there to put that on. And then you're going to need a drill. Let's lay out all the items that we have here. Uh, so you have, in this kit, you have four feeder ports right here. You have uh, this little screw on ring. That's what attaches it from the other side of the bucket. You have these O-rings. This is to ensure a watertight seal. And then you have these little caps. These are cool because at the end of the day when the chickens are done eating, you can use this cap and you can cap this if you're having a rodent problem, mice or rats getting in. Uh, you could just cap that and it keeps it super safe. All right, so I'm gonna unwrap all of this stuff and just lay it out here on the table. All right, there we go. Just like that, we're ready to assemble here. So this drill bit is three inches. And everything that I looked at online stated that the bottom of your feeder port should be three inches from the bottom of the bucket itself. So that way the feed has uh, somewhere to go and then your chickens can reach in with their heads and get the stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this drill bit right here and I'm going to mark the three inch point so I'm just setting this right here and then marking the point at the top of it where we will ensure the bottom of our feed port is located. So that right there is uh, side one. We're gonna go to the other side here. I'm not doing exact measurements on opposite ends. I'm just putting in four ports, sort of a north, south, east, west kind of deal. For this particular project, perfection isn't absolutely crucial, though whatever you do, you should be doing it to some level of excellence. All right, so you can see here we have our marks. Those are the three inch point. We're gonna go ahead and put our little drill bit here together. And it's simply a screw on sort of deal. It is a little bit tough. I could probably use some pliers to get this in, but I think it'll be fine to start with. And then we start the hole saw process. There's one. And obviously, we're gonna clean all of these plastic bits off here because we don't want the chickens ingesting that. Inch and a half point. And then our final port. So we've got all these little plastic bits that we're gonna clean up here. I'm actually gonna get, I don't have any sandpaper on me, so I'm gonna get a rag and I'm gonna use a rag to scrape them all out. Just grab as much of this plastic, these plastic shards as possible. All right, there we go. We've got our bucket all set up. You can see the holes that we've got here. Not bad, pretty nice. All right, so with these ports, um, this part that has the overhang is where the chicken's head goes in and then they reach down through this. And so this comes from the inside of the bucket and pops out and then you put your O-ring and you screw it on. All right, we're gonna put our O-ring on first. That's gonna seat in there. You can see how this sits real nicely on that. And then we're gonna go in through here. Whenever you look from the inside, it's a round bucket and a flat surface there. It's, it's a flat piece of plastic and then it's a, a, a circular bucket. So you have that gap. We're gonna make sure that we tighten this up very tight to ensure that uh, there is a firm, solid grip on that O-ring. And if you tighten it correctly, you should get a really snug fit. Perfect, that's wonderful. Now to do the next three. All right, there we go. So this took about 10 minutes to put together. It is ready for feed. 
We have to go get some feed, fill it up. We're gonna put it in there with the chickens. Now, because chickens stand pretty tall, you're going to have to elevate this somehow. You can hang it from something. If you have something from which you can hang it, then that's perfect. However, in my chicken run, we don't have anything from which we can hang this. So what I'll be doing is getting a couple cinder blocks and placing it under. We want it to be sort of neck height for the chicken so that they can put their head in and then peck down to get the food. Uh, if it's too low, they're gonna have to kind of do weird maneuvers to get that food out of there. So that's the unit put together. Let's go get some feed, put it in here and see how the chickens like it. All right, I couldn't find any cinder blocks, so I got this log. I think this will do just fine. You can see their feed dish down here, that rubber bowl has been their feed dish since we got them and we're about to upgrade them. All right, so we have our bucket here going in. I'm sorry if there's wind noise. It's a little bit of a windy day today. It's not hot, thankfully, but it is windy. Now that I'm looking at this bucket, I think this stump might be a bit too high. So we might need to get something else for this to sit on. Cause that's a that's kind of high and it's wobbly. Um, we'll see. Um, I have scratch grain and I have normal chicken feed, layer feed. We're almost out of layer feed, so I'm gonna add some scratch grains in here first, and then we'll put the feed on top of that. That way they can kind of pick through where they want at whatever time they want. All right. Too much, too fast. The ladies are definitely very interested in what's going on. Looks great. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's too tall for them. And from the specs that I've found, they say that this bucket should be able to hold about 17 pounds of food. Uh, 16 to 17 pounds, so that's great. The rest of this feed is gonna go for the Jersey Giants in the neighboring enclosure. Pop it off with scratch grains. Super bucket. So we will seal this thing up. Let's set it on the ground and see what they do. Hey guys, look, over here. Nope. Ah, perfect. We've had this stool out here for months and months. And so maybe the stool will be the right thing. It's a little bit shorter. We'll try that and see how it goes. It's kind of wobbly right here also kind of wobbly last thing I want is this thing to tip over and then we lose the feed out the side okay well we'll see how that goes so it seems like they might need to eat all of the food off of the ground before they actually explore this thing uh, we'll see how it goes and I'll kind of uh, keep a progress report on how they do over the next couple hours up to a couple days depending on how long it takes them to figure out that there is there's food inside here. All right, here's day number one, or morning number one, of letting the chickens out with their new feeder. Normally they go out right away to eat. Let's see what they do. There's still a little bit of scratch grains left on the ground. I imagine they'll pick through that, but let's see if they go for the, ooh, she goes right for the feeder, yes. I thought this was only supposed to take a couple hours for them to get used to it, but apparently I don't have very bright chickens or something. I heard one of our Jersey Giant roosters starting to crow it's working one of these little guys in here has been testing out his crow he's been doing a job we'll just say that not a good job not a bad job an okay job who's crowing good job all right, guys, just want to say thank you for joining in on this video. I hope you got value from it. I hope you learned uh, something, a little something. Like I said, I'm still a beginner trying to help other beginners. Uh, if you liked what you saw here, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed, consider subscribing because we've got a lot more videos coming down the pipeline. If you want to try your hand at making this chicken feeder, all of the supplies and products that I used are linked in the description below. Those are affiliate links. So that's a way that you can kind of support the channel by clicking through those links. And then whenever you buy something from Amazon, Amazon will give us a small commission from the purchase price in order to, uh, to just say thank you for promoting the products. With all that being said, I'll see you on the next video.